Sometimes in life, things don't go to plan. The place you've called home for decades is slowly taken from you because of somebody else's greed. What started as one home for sale in your neighborhood leads to relentless pressure on everyone to sell to a greedy developer. Slowly the homes around you are purchased and are abandoned, causing issues for you and the remaining houses on the street. Scared of the people these abandoned homes are drawing, your neighbors sell out of fear to the developer, no longer willing to deal with the overgrown lawns, flooding homes, and vandals just next door. Only you remain now, with three abandoned homes as your neighbors, and five more just down the street. The developer offers to buy your home once again, knowing you don't really have a choice. With your home's value at an all-time low, you take their deal, and you move out. Today all nine of these homes sit abandoned, waiting to be demolished. A new unaffordable high-rise will go in its place, further adding to the housing crisis here in Ontario. All right, how's it going over, crew? Welcome back to the channel. Today got something pretty cool for you guys. We have a neighborhood of abandoned houses. There's about nine abandoned houses, maybe 10 if I'm counting right. Not sure if all of them are open, but we're gonna go try to check out every single one of them. We're gonna do it in one video, so not sure how long it's gonna be. Uh, should be interesting though. A lot of interesting houses. All these are gonna be redeveloped to uh, put a high rise, I believe. So they're not gonna be here much longer. So without further ado, let's get in here, see what we can find. This is the first house here. Quite a nice house. They haven't been abandoned that long from what I know. I do know that people have been through. Ah, look at this entrance. That's nice. Very 60s entranceway with the privacy, like plastic privacy glass. So this one looks like it's been pretty renovated. Like I said in the intro, we're not gonna be spending a ton of time in the houses unless they warrant it, because we got nine to do or 10, so. Yeah. Pretty modern floors, they're just like vinyl flooring in here. This looks like a, it's like a kitchen and a laundry room mixed. Kind of weird. Cause you would have the washing machine right there. Cause we have the outlet and the water and the exhaust tube. But it's weird cause like we have a hood for an, a stove, so <laughs> that's strange. Then we got the sink. That's weird, <laughs> I guess. Got a bathroom. Ooh, we got a modern bidet. Get yourself a modern bidet. It'll change your life. Trust me, guys. It's kind of interesting that like the plastic tiling with the uh, shelves. It's got like a curve to it. I apologize if I'm uh, sniffling a little bit in the video. It's like negative 19 degrees Celsius out today. So it is a cold one. So, you know, please cut me some slack on it. Got the washing machine right there. Dishwasher, sorry, not washing machine. So this looks fairly unchanged. I mean, we have original wallpaper. Oh wow, look at that light. That's very cool. These look pretty modern handles. Obviously it was renovated at some point, but uh, I like the window here. 
I mean, it doesn't really show you much. I mean, you'd see people coming home. Interesting choice. Looks like they did some drywall work here. I'm not sure. This maybe was their dining room. Okay. So we got a side split house. Wow, look at that. That's definitely original, this partition here. It's interesting too, it's got like a border around it. <laughs> Something I have noticed is pretty much all these houses have this exact same lock. And they almost all have the same layout. This one being the exception, I believe. Oh, that's cool. Probably would have had a little plant sitting in there. I guess this would have been your main living room. Alright, so let's head upstairs. Bathroom looks fairly original. Probably hasn't really been updated. If it was, it was maybe like, you know, early 80s. See, we got quite a bit of snow the other night. So what is this? What is this? <laughs> what happened here? We have a, another toilet by the washroom. We have a shower, a sink, laundry machines. So maybe they were, um, you know, renting these out at one point. It just doesn't fit. <laughs> it just doesn't look like the toilet's in the middle of the room. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. It is what it is. So one thing I did notice is the police use this for uh, police training. So you'll see some of the um, fake rounds and stuff on the floor. See like the uh, practice bullets and stuff like right in this corner here, we got practice bullets. So um, a lot of the damage done in here actually probably wasn't from kids really. It was for the police to train. A lot of the times when they have abandoned houses like this, the developers will let the cops come and train, so that's why you see stuff like this. They'll put explosive charges and blow out the doors and stuff. Okay. Check out the basement real quick. Where's the basement? This way, Noah. Ooh, it's pretty bad down here. Look at that. Somebody just ripped the entire ceiling out to get all the wiring. Try to get the copper, probably. Furnace. This looks like it would have been a little workshop. A 
for the front entrance. This looks like a kid's room, potentially. You know, beige, whatever, but Got Lightning McQueen, Cruz Ramirez, and then Jackson Storm. Oh, we got Mater too. Hell yeah. Love Cars. It's a great movie. Cars 1 and 3. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, so that's this first house. I'm going to walk over the other one right now you got some stuff still left out here we got a Crown barbecue, some patio furniture, a little shed. Don't know if there's anything crazy in here. Not really. Something that's a bit strange is that between these houses, there's boards removed. So obviously people are coming through here every so often. Wow, they got a big property. Looks like a goalie stick. That's a good little uh, like gazebo to have and just leave behind in the house, eh? It's quite the garage. Oh, they definitely had a lift in here. <laughs> There's no doubt in my mind. Yeah, the bolts were it in the floor there. Pretty big shop lights. Yeah, this is a good sized shop. I would die to have something like this in my uh, backyard. That's wild. This is a lot of space. Another one here too, another nice big garage. And a little garage probably for lawn care stuff. It looks like they maybe had a chicken coop. I'm not gonna go in there, but Pretty cool. Okay. It's pretty back here. What's this? Is that like their exhaust? Look at these icicles, holy. That's pretty crazy. Those are big icicles. The kind of icicle that'll kill you. I know the door didn't magically open. Ethan just came out just before you guys think there's a ghost or something. Okay. 
Oh wow, this is gorgeous. Look at this. This looks like it has like an 80s renovation to it. The wood color and the tiling. This might be the most intact out of the houses. Got a chandelier. I love that too, the big triangle windows, those are cool. The kitchen actually looks like it's pretty much been left alone. Nothing's really changed. They haven't pulled anything out of here yet. I'll get back to there in a second. Got a living space right here. Obviously it's been painted. Pretty nice gas fireplace. Broken Sherwood hockey stick. Oh boy, look at that door. So obviously the cops were in here training too. That's nuts. <laughs> Wonder what they're doing in the wall. Just like ripping into it. The floor's buckled really bad in this one. Just in this one spot. It's like this room flooded almost. Like there's mold in the corners on the walls. Actually buckled so bad it popped off the uh, baseboard right there. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know what happened in here water damage wise, but that's all mold. So we're gonna keep moving. All right, so like I was saying about the kitchen, we have the original cupboards. I believe we have the original uh, fridge and stove. The Amana fridge. You could repurpose these. These are uh, still good. Looks like they're here until June of 2022 at the last, at the latest. So just like a random picture of Marilyn Monroe. Pretty standard, like 80s kitchen. It's nothing crazy to it. This oven is in like immaculate condition, like for being as old as it is. Like this is probably as perfect as you'd find one. It's even got the lock still. We can open it. I don't have two hands, unfortunately. And we got the Lazy Susan, of course. I'm not gonna be going through all of these, but uh, yeah, I like the built-in wood hood. Okay, so there's the main entrance of the house right there. This one's pretty interesting. So I can't remember what this kind of ceiling's called, but uh, one of you guys in the comments mentioned that they stopped doing these kind of ceilings, one, because the style, it just, you know, it became out of style, but two, uh, the material they used, this was filled with asbestos. So currently, you know, it's, it's completely safe in its state. It's not gonna harm you as it is, but if it starts to fall and, you know, create dust, that's when you have a problem. Nice living room or nice living space. This carpet is so plush. <laughs> A 
beautiful front door. I'll have to show you when I get closer, but it's got nice glass work in it. Assuming all the bedrooms then are on this side of the house. Yeah. It's interesting. This is a view out into like the basement uh, entrance from the outside. Strange. Th this bathroom literally smells like manure. It smells like when you go by a farmer's field. <laughs> it's gross. Nice built-ins. I would assume they had a bidet right there. So, you know, get yourself a bidet or somebody will steal your bidet. <laughs> not showing you the toilet. Yeah, it, it's like somebody took a lava dump in the toilet. So I'm not going to show you that. Um, <laughs> This looks like a pretty typical drop-in shower. Cupboard. Cool. That's random, like the tile just on the edge of the door here. Pretty big bedrooms. Double closet. This would be the executive bedroom, the master bedroom, whatever you want to call it. Not actually crazy big, surprisingly. It's not even big enough to have its own bathtub, funny enough. Somebody on a TikTok I saw, they said that if you've seen Ice Age, this looks like the squirrel from Ice Age that can never get its um its uh its nuts that it's trying to collect. <laughs> I like a hundred percent agree. Okay, we're gonna head to the basement. Check out this door though. Cool design. It's a pretty cool front entrance. I mean, it's a pretty unique house. You don't really see a lot of homes that look like that anymore. So it's Noah approved, I guess. It's not just another cookie cutter house, at least how we see them today. Just gotta fix my backpack, guys. It's falling off of my arm. Okay, so we got our furnace room right here, hot water tank. I believe that's a water softener, if I'm not incorrect. Pretty big um, basement area, lots of space. Oh, we got some decay. Actually, that's not decay, that's just them ripping it out. We're we looking for copper. Nice fireplace. Piano course. Guess somebody was learning piano. Wow, it's been mangled down here. Look at that. You can see the uh, police tape from the training. And all this damage either done by them or by some uh, scrappers probably, because that's not natural. Oh sh shit, there's a lot of mold in here. Okay, we're gonna be real quick. doing some drying of some plants, it looks like. I didn't realize these houses were gonna be so moldy.
It's like a preserves room, cold cellar. It's exactly what it is. All right, this room is, this house is gross. So let's just keep moving. <laughs> and this looks like it's a basement apartment. There's someone at the ones over there. Oh, do we gotta go? I don't know, there's, I see someone walk in the backyard. Okay, we can go if you want. Okay, it's up to you, I'm just telling you. I, mean, I, I don't know who it is, but like, I might be like not a terrible idea, but there's 100% at least one person over there. Okay, guys, you heard that. So this is the, pretty much just this area of this room. Some old tiling. Pretty cool bathroom. I mean, this is pretty retro. At least get you the rest of this house. And uh, we're off, I guess, for now. <laughs> okay, I'm coming back to you guys um, probably a couple hours later. Like you saw in the last clip, we had a possible run-in, so we didn't want to stick around to see who was showing up. So we are back now. I'm at a different area of the houses. I got two pretty cool houses here. There's one behind me. Um, doesn't seem to be open. This one in front of me I know is though. So we're gonna go into this one, check it out and see what we can find. So let's go. So this one here is a pretty nice red brick bungalow. Nice little back deck that they have here. They got a very large yard. lot warmer in here. It's gotten even colder since we uh, <laughs> we were here, obviously, the first time. So we came in through the back. God, that's loud. We came in through the back door, obviously. Lots of love from Anne, Sean, Shelby. Father's Day. We got some recipes. We got a pumpkin pie recipe, lemon butter. Cool. I think this is gonna be a pretty quick one in this house. Looks like we have the original linoleum floor. Pretty cool cabinet. Obviously, this was somebody's recipe book. Somebody just threw it all on the ground. Um, it's kind of interesting. It'd be a cool little series to take like these recipes like from abandoned houses, like take a picture of them and then try to make them at home and see if they're good or not. <laughs> not a crazy big kitchen. Um, looks like that's some like smoke damage almost around. These are cool. Look at those lights. Look at this. It's a very nice fireplace. Nice stone, some red tiles. The walls are just like dirty in this house. I have the TV there. It's very cold and very dark in here. That smoke alarm too, when we first walked through this house, it talks and it scared the soul out of us. Probably original door. You can see like I pointed out earlier, same door locks. Empty, empty cupboard. Assuming that this is gonna be the same. 
Yep. Some peeling linoleum. Some little, like, chuchki toys. Bathroom's kind of cool. It's fairly old looking, nothing uh, too, too crazy with it. It's got one of the first bedrooms, pretty plain, nothing really, nothing really to her. Another bedroom here. Again, nothing really crazy. There's no crazy wallpapers. The light's kind of cool. Okay. We got this room. Kind of retro wallpaper. It's like textured. Probably like the only last remaining original room other than the flooring, obviously. But again, you know, just another bedroom. Nothing crazy to her. There's a little closet. Okay. I believe there's a basement. So let's go into the basement. Was this what they had? So they had like stickers on the wall. That's what we're seeing like that outline of it. Okay. It was a low ceiling. Wow, look at this. It's boring. <laughs> yeah, really nothing to this one. Not in the basement at least. Got the, wa the hot water tank. A bottle. <laughs> yeah, nothing, nothing really crazy down here so far. wood paneled walls some like drop ceiling tiles or just some like linoleum tiles on the ceiling it's kind of like a little party room probably entertaining room we got some decorations so it has to be a party room now We got paint. <laughs> the crane things are fairly, uh, they're not super old, but I believe they're, they're getting there. Cool things though, like the colors that they used on them at the time with the blues and like the pastel colors. They had a washing machine obviously down here at some point, but yeah, I mean, people have come through, they've ripped out the copper, they've ripped out anything they can make money off of, it looks like in this one, so it's a shame. You can see all the wires still just on the floor. But yeah, that's pretty much this house. It's not a very big one, nothing super crazy to it, so we're gonna continue on our way and go to the next one. Off of this house that we just went into, tons of property. So obviously they had a substantial backyard. They had a nice little place set. They had 
this shed over here. It's like a little gander inside. Let's see what we can find. There's a fair amount of stuff in here. Isn't nobody homeless might be staying in here. Or that's me being presumptuous. We got a pot full of food. Look at the bag of bread. <laughs> Look at this. It's just, it's like a giant bag of bread. Doesn't look like it's moldy. I mean, it's in the cold, so it's not gonna rot away, but it's kind of surprising. Electric scooter. Little kid uh, chair thing. Can't remember what they're called, stroller. So because somebody showed up when we were exploring. The layout of how these houses are set up is kind of weird because there's the two that are behind me and then straight ahead of me there's five but then off to my left there's two more. The two we did at the starting of this video are the two off to my left. Then we have the two behind us, the one that we couldn't get into. And then these backyards back on to uh, five more abandoned houses. Now these ones are wartime homes. They uh, they're quite small, great little starter houses. They're gonna be putting a new development, like I said earlier. What I could see, it's like townhouses. So this is our first little home right here. Nice little small uh, bungalow we got. We have a garage door. Don't know if there's anything even in here. Or if it even opens, it doesn't even open. You can see all the meters and stuff, they've all been ripped off. The homes are actually fenced off, funny enough. But all that way are just homes. Okay, let's head into this first one here. Very 60s style home. Look at that front door. Look at the glass, that's beautiful. That doorknob, that's so cool. Okay, so what do we have, what do we have here? Wow, look at the state of that. I've been ripping out all the insulation and bagging it up. So hopefully, hopefully that's not asbestos. <laughs> wow, look at this room too. They've just been going to, they've just been going to town. Some old letters. 1969, 68, 65. Yeah, these are, it's got some age to them. Wow. It's for renting it out. All these have notes inside of them. Appears that they're still in there, the notes. It's pretty cool. So many of them too, like they're just everywhere. Some crazy paint peeling though, like. House keeps making noises at me, it's freaking me out. Oh, she's rough. Got a Schnauzer light switch cover. 
Yeah, this one got roughed up pretty good. They really just started gutting it out. Small little bathroom. There's a few of the bathrooms that look like this in these little homes here, so it's kind of interesting. It's so dusty. Like you can, that's how dusty it is. Very, very dusty. Did I scare you again? You scared the heck out of me, man. <laughs> Paint shifts are wild in here. Again, we have a full thing of recipes. Super common, I guess. For them to have their recipes all written down. It's pretty cool. Very nice handwriting. This is from May 1965. So this kitchen doesn't look like it's really been changed all too much. Pretty basic. Obviously they had a much bigger microwave at one point in here. But again, looks like 2022 is when this house was purchased out. They probably were paid quite a pretty penny for this property, so I wouldn't feel too, too bad about these. A lot of people can retire off of their uh, buyouts on stuff like this, so that's most likely what happened here. This is like a little the backyard or side entrance, sorry. This almost looks like a chicken coop off the side of the house. That is a strong basement door. I know from earlier, look at this carpet. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's a very bold choice, eh? No idea what that's for. Yeah, I mean, they just ripped out the entirety of the basement. Really not tons to see. I mean, we got a washer and dryer down here. Um, it's like a good storage drawer. Nope, that's not supposed to come off. Got a downstairs washroom right here. Pretty beat up. If we go this way, little living space. There's a little fireplace as well. Other than that, though, it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty basic. Nothing really crazy to it. Quite a bit of space that they had. And for the size of the house, it's not too too bad. Oh, and we can see the other side where it's all blocked off. So perfect. All right, that's this one. Let's keep going. Canada brochure from 1963. Yo, that's cool. Yeah. Does it have anything on the inside? Yeah. All the different planes they were using at the time. The DC-8, the Vanguard, and the Viscount. Yeah. That's very, I'm not even showing it. That's very cool. Yeah. At least 20 minutes. For domestic flights in Canada and the U.S., please check in at the airport at least 20 minutes before your flight. Yeah, the room's got a lot of stuff in it. Yeah. Television, prints, picture, today, treasures, tomorrow. These are photo books. That's from 57. 1957. Wow. A postcard of... Yeah, it's just like photos from the beach in 1957. Conveniently, like everything is pretty much just connected. So you can just walk straight to the next house. There's no fences. They use these big trees, but 
trees don't have our trees have gaps which is nice once you're in this area you can see a little bit better how many of these houses there actually are so that one's kind of off on its own you can see we got one here one there two more over there This one's trashed. Oh wow, this one's pretty bad. Yeah, people have been through in this one, that's for sure. It's just beating the hell. Windows all smashed out. This like fake vinyl flooring has been ripped up. So we're going to the bedrooms, pretty basic, nothing really to her. Kitchen's been just ransacked. Floors ripped up, there's pretty much nothing left in here. That's probably for their china. But all this just destroyed. Nothing really to see. Might as well just check the basement quickly. I feel like it's gonna be pretty beaten up anyways. So the rest of it is. Yeah, it's basically studs. It's actually a pretty big bathroom. Shockingly big. Are they growing in here? This might be a grow up room. Could be a plant room, but it looks like it's a uh, grow up room. Rest of it. It's almost like they, uh, I wonder if it flooded down here because all the drywall's cut at a certain height. I wonder if it flooded before they um, purchased it out. So it's kind of strange that it's uh that the flooring's gone and the wall like three four feet up is cut out that makes sense because it was a finished basement it was finished pretty well it looks like too to a certain degree okay well it's not opening but it's weird like this looks like it's almost a grow room too they blocked off the garage Pretty crazy, honestly. And then we just got the bedrooms. So this is what I mean, like these five houses, they all seem to have very similar styled bathrooms. I mean, toilet, sink, shower. That one's been renovated recently though. Probably the master. Would've been their closet. Yeah, nothing, nothing super, super crazy. So to go in, I think from here, right? Right. Guess we're starting in the basement, boys and girls. Oh, this one's not like blown to smithereens. It's like a random barn door. Just like nailed to the wall. It's kind of creepy. There's a door with no handle. Can I get it open? Yeah, I can. Oh, it's just a furnace room, okay. It's a very light door. You can also access it from the other side, so that's probably why it's, <laughs> why it's closed. I 
Looks like they wanted to repurpose some of these drawers. See where the cops setting off some charges or whatever they called them. Blow off the door. Copper thieves again. I don't even know what this room's for. Probably a closet, maybe. It's not laundry. Okay, laundry room's over here in the bathroom. Makes sense with these smaller houses, not like the first one we went into and it was just like <laughs> bathroom and bathroom and laundry machines. Sump pump. There's your sump. That's probably gonna freeze. So we'll see, I guess. I mean, water's cut, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, they all got a very similar layout though. I think you guys have noticed that by now. Linoleum floor. That's creepy. Come like that. Okay. So pretty original kitchen. It's cool floral uh, tiles with the uh, polka dots in it. Probably the keys to the house, <laughs> to be honest. It's kind of cool. This like little curved part of the counter here with the drawers. Fairly modern. And we got this like trim. Makes it look like it's got a railing. Obviously it was up there as well, but yeah. That door is so creepy. Again, same kind of living room. Design in the ceiling and the, um, yeah, just design in the ceiling. Can't remember what it's called. Pretty plain Jane. Little bedroom here. Probably just gonna be a closet. We should have three bedrooms, I'm guessing. <laughs> or two bedrooms, sorry. Oh, this one's got some original wallpaper. It's like a textured floral wallpaper. That's cool. It's probably one of the more original bedrooms. Hasn't really been updated. Even the flooring's pretty uh, rough, so it's probably still original. Whatever that is, it's a horse. <laughs> Just like the other two, <laughs> same design, same bathroom. I mean, these were built to be affordable and be easy for them to make. So, you know, the tiles and stuff that they chose may have differed, but the whole layout of these houses are all pretty similar. Fortunately, I can't leave out this front door. All right, so may have been saving the best for last. I'm not sure. We're gonna find out in a second. Oh, yeah, we did, potentially. Yeah, look at this. That's so wavy. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, that's so cool. That's just like out of nowhere. Look at the floor too. Wow. That's definitely original. This might be the coolest one yet, guys. We've got the cool like tension rod style. Oh, 
out, sorry, with hiccups. Got a tension rod style divider right there, kind of mid-century style. Nice little chandelier. Nice little coat closet right at the front. This one looks like it's designed differently than the last two, so that's refreshing to see. Look at the design of this one. I don't think I've ever seen one of these ceilings done as like a like a rectangle and a rectangle style. So that's pretty cool. Rake and shovel. I gotta go buy a new shovel. I, I got angry because the snow plow came by and I'm on like a corner house. And I threw the shovel and it shattered. So that's gonna be something I gotta rectify soon. <laughs> Gorgeous front. Gorgeous front bay window. It's very, very nice. Wow. That's a pretty big, um, it's a pretty big house. This is bigger than the other two for sure. Like this little back deck area is pretty cool. It's pretty awesome. Kitchen. Looks fairly untouched for the age. The Maytag, probably an 80s Maytag. Somebody left their Starbucks drink here. Doesn't even look that old, which is like slightly concerning. Cool bulb lights. Of course, we got our Lazy Susan. Bread knife. A few things left in this one. Nothing crazy, but there's some stuff. A little like doily in front of the window. <laughs> that probably goes to the basement, so let's finish up here first. What is this contraption of doom? Oh, it's probably to snake out like the uh, the vents or something. Okay. We got a different kind of bathroom in here. We got pink tile. That's cool. It smells like poo, but that's fine, I guess. It smells like, like metal and feces, so great. Fortunately, the uh, bedroom's pretty plain. The, uh, the lights are cool, though. This is like a... This is a sliding one. Yep, most of them have been doors in this house. Built-in mirror into the trim, it's kind of interesting. Three rung ladder, sure. <laughs> And just another bedroom. Look at this. Dad says, don't be stupid. Life's harder when you're stupid. 2022, I guess they, before they left, they uh, put all their handprints on the wall. That's a cool idea. Same love, new chapter, Mads. All the best in your new journey in this journey in life forever after. And Jean? Pre move in painting. My brain is too mushy to think of something clever. Hillary and Patrick. Exploding kittens for life and friendship. Allie and Josh. Interesting. Their last hurrah in the house. So, yeah, July. Between like the 14th to the probably 22nd. This is really cool though. 
This is something else. All right, the last basement of the day. Oh, and I almost fell. Damn. <laughs> Jeez, that's slippery. <laughs> I almost went ass over tea kettle. <laughs> Wood paneled carpet. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. Oh my God, it's fully wood paneled. <laughs> Look at this stove. This is fairly old. This might be like 50s, 60s. If you guys know, let me know. I'd love to uh, love to know the age of this. It's a... I don't know if it has a brand on it, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't think it has a brand. Probably the more unique basement out of all these houses. Okay, this just leads to... Look at this light. Yeah, it's very wood paneled. Look at these light fixtures too. That's pretty cool. This might be the first house that has furniture in it. Like proper like sofa. <laughs> it's on like ball wheels. You can roll this around. Gorgeous fireplace. Love the stonework. It's very uh, unique, like with the cornerstone there and then the mantelpieces. I'm assuming somebody homeless may have slept down here because they put a cushion in the window. Actually, two of them. Don't know who else would really want to do that. I do like that they have these like side little stone features. Two TVs. Old Mitsubishi with the under storage. Used to have something very similar to that. Still have the mo the uh, manual for the TV. Well then, all right. There's unknown liquid in that. I don't know if it's just me that thinks these are cool, but these like shades that you can, <laughs> the accordion shade, I think is an interesting idea. This is cool. Old yellow fridge. Washer and dryer. Again, we have the uh, crane sink. Ooh, the bathroom's cool. Oh, this is so cool. I like this. Tiled with like a bronze built-in shower that goes into like this green, <laughs> like a mint green. We have like another tension rod, a little shelving unit there. Floor to ceiling tiling pretty much. And we have like the little doily like cover for the window. Oh, look at the light switches too. They're like the old style of like the, uh, the square push button ones. That's cool. I like that. Nothing crazy down there. Then just this one last room. It's just like this wood paneling and then just like plywood or chipboard. Yeah, that's pretty much it guys. That's the whole, pretty much all the houses. We missed one or two, I think, so. We saw what we could see. I think we did pretty good. All right, Noah crew, that's gonna be the end of this video. 
I apologize, I forgot to film an outro. It was like negative 29 degrees Celsius by the time we were done exploring this neighborhood. Um, so I just, I wanted to get inside. After flying the drone, I couldn't feel my fingers anymore. So <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, drop a comment down below, tell me what you think of this place. And uh, if you haven't, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Only about 20% of the people that watch the videos are subscribed. So if you aren't subscribed, be sure to do so now so that you're notified of all of my newest videos. With that, guys, I am out, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.